All right, here we're going to do one more example using the limit comparison test. So here we've got sine of 1 over n, and, you know, the series from 1 to infinity. So, you know, there's not a lot going on here with this series. Uh, you might first try to do the test for divergence. And if you do the test for divergence, well, we can do the limit as n goes to infinity. So this is what I do if I'm kind of completely unsure about a series. Well, as n goes to infinity, you know, uh, Inside the parentheses, we'll get 1 over a large number, so that'll approach 0. So it says it, it, it approaches sine of 0, but sine of 0 is 0, so the test for divergence would be inconclusive. Well, I see this series, uh, or I see this, this, this 1 over n, so maybe we can compare it to 1 over n and see what happens. And recall, this is the harmonic series, again, a divergent p-series. Okay, so we can do the limit as n goes to infinity, sine of 1 over n divided by 1 over n. But again, uh, as n goes to infinity, we said sine of 1 over n is going to go to 0, 1 over n is going to go to 0, so we can use L'Hopital's rule on this. So we'll have to take the derivative of the uh, numerator. So we'll have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of sine is cosine. We'll leave the 1 over n alone. And then we would have to multiply by the derivative of 1 over n. That would be the chain rule. And I'm going to be lazy and not even do it because I recognize in the denominator, well, we'll get the derivative of 1 over n. Well, we would have to do the exact same thing. Well, those two terms would simply... Uh, you know, those two factors would simply cancel out. So, I mean, you can always actually compute them, but it's going to be the exact same thing, so they're going to go away. Well, now we're left with the limit as n goes to infinity of cosine 1 over n. That's going to give us cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. Again, we get a positive finite number. Since we're comparing uh, to a divergent p-series, that would tell us that our series in question also diverges.